Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. You now get access to the best summon spell in the game. Just stand in the brush, channel the Hex Flash, go for the stun. Oh, Mahail, you're in trouble. He is in a little bit of trouble. That is not a massive Narbar right now, and he's also going to be now away from the turret. Peanut's going to easily punch him, much like he was doing in the jungle. And that is going to be first blood. Can pretty easily get that stun on you, and Peanut just follow up. Yeah. Maybe stay nearer to the turret so that you can uh, sort of try and fight it out, but... I think it was too much of a big deal. Uh, okay, there's a slow on to Sylvie. He's going to have to flash. Heroic Charge not really doing too much, but the Ignite is already down. Exhaust onto Delight here as Fish is going to turn up, and that is the answering kill to go over to Jiwoo on the bottom side. Just an overextension there from Hump. Of the CS of this Corky. So no harm, no foul. I think in these situations, if you end up a little bit behind in gold compared to the Corky, that's fine. Uh, and I just think the Viari is such a powerful combo. Uh, oh. Peanut is going to get walloped here and thrown into the wall. Mihail does then go back to Minina, which can be a little bit more annoying. Peanut eats some honey fruit, though. He'll be all okay. He even goes back to uh -oh. finish it. As now Mihail is going to get slicingly Maelstrom. Ah, uh, Season and Desist comes in, and yes, he's going to stop. Doran is going to pick up another kill for Hummel Life Esports. That is one for him, yeah. one for Peanut. And rest. Definitely a make-trust game for a lot of people. He does finally finish those. Will help against the stuns, but... I think this is very much going to be, okay, I'm just going to farm up and try to be relevant in team fights. Nah. Pina's starting up the dragon here. I say starting up, he's finishing off. Yeah. Uh, and Hollow Life Esports got control of the area, so it won't be contested. That's three grubs and the fierce dragon. Didn't have to invest his ult, though. So Viper not going to have that button for this next fight. And actually, it feels like HLE counted their chickens before they hatched there, because they had Zekka TP top, they had Viper be an ultimate. They were like, okay, we got the dragon, but Nongshim were like, well, actually, no, we can contest this. Now that the Herald's being thrown down mid, the tower's gone already. Oh. Yeah, and now you've got a Slicing Maelstrom under just Fisher, but that should be working out here as they do get the stun out. The Ignite is ticking, and Fisher will be going down. He has drank his potion, and the Ignite is going to move down, but that is still going to be the last Q. Delight is going to be able to lock that one down. So after singing Fisher's praises, Unfortunately, he is going to fall, overextending a little bit there towards the bottom side. And Hamwa should now be able to take their prize in this dragon. Jiwu set up here. They have the Alistair on the flank. Well, there's the headbutt pulverized. As in goes Jiwu, the, the exhaust now down onto Viper. A very short trip through that wall as Hex Tech Soul. That's a big one. Jiwu is still dancing around this battle, though. And Viper has to flash to get over the wall. He takes the Hex Gate to get himself out as you. Man, that shuriken did a lot of damage from uh, Doran. Maybe I was used to watching the AD cannon, so it's uh, it's just doing a whole lot more than uh, what we were seeing yesterday. And that's too many even for Ash, I could imagine. As uh, okay, Doran trying to get himself out as Fisher dives on top of him. Guga, possible answer here. And we'll look to corral the little cannon, but the slicing Maelstrom gets a fair bit of work done Unbreakable Will is in as Peanut goes over. Now Doran's in an even better spot. Guga does just have to try and vacate the area. Peanut's fighting three people, I guess, if you include Daisy, and he's going to get knocked up and taken out. Oh, never mind. He tries to flash away, but it's going to be Fisher that locks down the kill in the end. Doran getting a few cheeky stuns. That'll get him out of there. Hummelife Esports still with a little bit of a lead, but it's getting scrappy. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Doran's just going to kill Guga. Um, now Viper is going to look to clean up. Delight is 1v1-ing Sylvie, which is a weird thing to do. There is a, a turret that's now dead, and uh, we might have some certification. Wolf is, is here, um, by the way, guys, so um, this might be where he signs the documents as Viper just picked up a double kill. And as that play went on, you definitely got this... Uh, it looks like Nongshim have absolutely no idea about what's going on. They will throw down a redemption, but that might be too late as Keeper's Verdict should be able to get rid of Sylvie. There goes the smite. And that was almost a Void Seeker going to take that one down, as now Zekka's going to miss another charm. Guga, though, I mean, what are they going to do? They just missed Baron. And, and Baron's approaching his Dragon Spike. Uh, so a lot of power coming in through for Honor Life Esports. Also, when you look at levels, the Baron giving a lot of XP. Zekka now level 16, Viper level up on Jiwu. Those levels do make a fair bit of difference, and I, I feel like that power spike from Nongshim, you know, they got a Dragon from it. But other than that, I think they've kind of passed it without getting any significant advantage, and they yeah. are just back to taking over this game. It's now almost an 8,000 gold lead. It's pretty ridiculous. I do want to credit Hamalife Esports on their sort of 
self-imposed apprehension around those item spikes like you were talking about earlier on. Do think that that was a large reason why Nongshima felt like they haven't been able to find any sort of avenue into this game. Inhibitor going to go down in the bottom lane. It's one of these things where when you see weaker teams get a lead and then throw it away, it's often around situations like that where they don't respect those item spikes. So the fact that HLE did... Oh. Oh. There's a pulverize onto Zeka. He's headbutted away as well. Good exhaust is going to connect as Jiu is going to turn up as well. That'll be a kill onto Zeka. And Mihail is also taking a turret on the top side of the map. So that's going to pull back that Red Bull Baron power play just a little. Yeah, there is one thing to mention though. Zeka's down. You can tell that Nongshin want to set up this dragon. But Guga burn exhaust onto Zeka, and it's a level 16 cannon who has just oh, teleported God. in. Yep, and now Delight looking for that angle as well as in goes Peter to find a cease and assist. There's the slicing Maelstrom, and there goes both of the carries. Oh, Guga's turned into a stake as well as Mihail, at least able to get one of the kills. But there's the Vault Breaker Flash. Peanut gonna help lock that one down. That's a double for Viper as well. And it is only Sylvie left alive. Hanwha just have the Nexus in their sights. So often you see the cannon come in with a big ult. The exhaust comes down. It does damage. The CC's there, but it's not quite hitting like we've seen before. But Doran there was able to get in on a great angle, able to get the ult off without the exhaust, able to go unchallenged and just one-shots the backline of Nongshim. It's My just what if cast, they're not gonna be able to defend here. They are not. Doran as well, 100% kill contribution on a top laner. Like, what year is it? That's absolutely nutty. He's going to be able to help lock down this one as well. Sylvie just has to watch as his Nexus... Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. You and Viper just casually standing on top of Vision. And I don't think Nongshim are going to be able to really answer yes. with uh, Zekka here in... Uh, with uh, control of the mid wave, the... Or Leandries? That's the question. Which would you prefer to have at 13 minutes? I feel like the Leandries is better. As Viper is just going to flash and kill Jiwu. Yep. Well, he was cleansed, was not enough to cleanse him out of the death chamber. Oh, and they're taking plates as well. You know, just when I was like, things aren't looking so bad. Well, there's a solar flare. Teleport to come in as well, as now Mihail's gone all out. Zekka just trying to do the damage here as Kalix jumping in. Good Q going to connect, and that is the full stack of the explosive charge. Zekka sheepishly walking away as Delight pays for their sins. Yeah, I honestly think maybe they could have gone for at least Zekka's flash or a second kill, but I guess they didn't have the vision, didn't want to risk it. They just take the kill, get out. Delight goes down and Nongshim now have a kill, but the goal lead is now 3,000. It's gotten bigger. Yeah, um, seems like it's not necessarily positive. My God, Peanut does so much damage. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Sylvie not going to be able to get over to the Dragon Pit as Viper turns up, Deadly Flourish. There's the curtains being called once again. Guga's going to have to eat all of these bullets because Sylvie would die if he took one. And in goes Delight because, of course, he is here. And the Grasping Roots are going to come down. Jiwoo finding an ultimate as Peanut taking a fair bit of damage, but Viper gets another one. Remember, the Dancing Grenade needs to be a little bit, uh, where is some of this? Okay, Kalyx. Kalyx looking for that flank angle. Peanut could be some food for the Tristana. As Delight looking for an angle, and Kalex just gets the heck out of there because Doran is really big and a crocodile and stuff. And so you don't really. As. Yeah, Nongshim just not really finding the confidence. As Mihail, once again, trying to deal with Zekka, and Delight is obviously here. Uh, this time they have a crocodile as well, though, so Doran's gonna be able to cut him down. There's going to be uh, Doran possibly falling, no. Uh, just keeps himself alive, tanks it up for long enough. Using the full breadth of his health, wanted to go home anyway. Um, yeah, a little bit close to the end. Kalex will trade a turret and get an objective bounty here, so... Went for that first, which is not something we often see, but into a uh, Thornmail Rush and a Warden's Mail as well. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. As Rift Herald is just gonna miss! Okay! Oh. You know what it is? You know what it is? I'm not even blaming Peanut for that. That was gonna be sick. He was like, guys, finish yeah, the turret. Yeah, finish the turret, I'll, I'll get the, the charge. One. They didn't finish the turret. They didn't get the memo, right? Yeah. He tried to send the message by Carrier Pigeon. Well, that was, it was actually genius, uh, but unfortunately, the rest of the team just not on the same page. So I'm going to say that Peanut's driving ability still second to none. Uh, Delight is now here, also walking as Zenith plating in also. That's going to deny a bit of damage as Doran, he's back once again. As uh, Mihail, underneath the turret, don't know about that one. He's going to try and mitigate the CC, doesn't quite do it. And uh, he still tanks a heck of a lot. Kalix 
Some stray turret shots there as well, as this inner turret did take a fair bit of damage, yeah, but they yeah. also lost everything, and inner turret's dead, in the, and there's another flash, and curtains have been called, and Jiwoo is going to be able to at least escape from Viper, who's going to get crashed into. Magnet Storm comes down. Kallax is here as well. Viper's going to cleanse. And Mihail is going to be needed as well. Okay, Just keep Cinders, running. Cinders, Cinders, Cinders. Pick this one up. It's looking a little bit worrying. There's only been four kills this game. Well, it, it feels like it's been a bloodbath on uh, Humble Life Esports' side, but it it's has, really not. It has on all of Sylvie's friends of the forest. Yes, They've that is that is definitely it. true. He's like, you know, it was nice to hang out with you. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. You're my best friends. He comes back a couple of minutes later, and they're all just dead. It's yeah, like, this is oh. like the sad ending of Fern Gully. <laughs> Um, it's it's not really what you want to see. Uh, I don't know whether there's going to be much of an answer here for Nongshim as Zekka. He can sort of set up, play Bouncer. If they would like to. Jiwoo's still somehow at 50% health. Not sure about that one is the Baron. Down to about 6,000. Nongshim are going to come on over. Let's see whether Sylvie can get into the pit. It looks like the answer is no. That's going to be secured by Peanut. Now Doran down to his Steric Shield, and he might actually die here. One for one so far in the fight. But the Baron's still going over to Hummel Life Esports. They get out of the pit, and they're looking for even more. Deadly Flourish comes down. Delight going to be in range. Solar Flare going to connect onto Mihail, and he is just dead. The flash forward from Zekka. He'll fight. Ooh, the Rocket actually avoided very nicely, and some Cinders! And Jiwoo are going to utilize that to get himself out of there. Love this little cinder run that these yeah. players are going on. Both 80 carries, getting a little edge on those cinders. But now Jiwoo is, you just got to keep running. Never look back and keep running. Well, the curtains are being called. They are going to discover the uh, the Krug. Oh. And, all right, okay, He's Jiwoo. coming. Dun He's coming. Dun 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 dun. And a lot. Oh, he stops him. And there's the explosion of all of those beautiful cinders. Oh, delight. He just knows. Is, he's got, him. Yeah, it is certainly feeling like it's in favor of Hummel Life Esports. Um, the, the, just a tad. The 12,000 gold lead may have something to do with it. Um, there's the entire control of the map. There's uh, the 130 CS lead for Peanut. Yep. Uh, he is also going to strangle Thorns a dragon, because why not? Yep. Uh, we're going to have a look at this fight once again. Doran does go Dude. down, uh, which was past the minions. Don't yeah. do that. That was not it. Now there's four items on Zekka. He is 3-0 on one. That's a very strong Corky. Uh, Viper also looking for his Infinity Edge. That should be coming in relatively soon. But uh, Or maybe it's just not going to come in, because the game is going to be over. As Hanwha, they have a lot of inhibitors to get through now. Yeah. Um, and Infinosol for Hanwha Esports. So, yeah, a big one, a Jin fourth shot. I'm kind of waiting for these things to see how much damage it does. Well, that rocket didn't actually connect. Deadly Flourish comes down, and now we've got curtains. Jiwoo tanking a couple of them. My god, okay, yeah. Uh, a fourth bullet, if it lands onto Jiwoo, he may just die. But uh, it's not going to come on through. Deadly Flourish also missing, and now the engage has come in. Gugur is just kind of accidentally dead. That is Kallax falling down as well. That big one did so much damage, as now Viper is just wandering towards them. The flash in, the Deadly Flourish, and that is going to be another one. There is the ace. They only lose Doran, and there goes the Nexus. A clean 2-0. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, OK. See you on the next one.